Schaft. You may have heard them before. The German words that describe incredible specific feelings. Schadenfreude, Weltschmerz, Zeitgeist. These are just a few examples. But who comes up with these words? We went to Germany to spend a day with two men who continue to preserve this old German tradition. <laughs> Hello, uh, <laughs> Deutschland. <laughs> I think I would describe myself as a, as a Bickenbauer, maybe. <laughs> yes, I, I think that is accurate. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I have a word to describe myself yet. Uh, language is always evolving and uh, I, I can never catch up with it. <laughs> <laughs> and there is one word in particular these two have become known for. Flunschweiz. Yes, Flohenschweiz. Uh, it basically describes the feeling you get when you drag your nails against the whiteboard, uh, but you get really upset because it doesn't make the same sound as it used to on a green chalkboard. Yes. Okay, guys, now we're going to show you how we work. We like to improvise, so we have to use this camera so we capture everything later. And now Gregory is going to say a lot of situations, a lot of emotion, and I have to think of a good word really fast. Very fast. Okay, Gregor, yes. take it away. Okay, you go to a birthday. Birthday, you I'm go going to a yeah. birthday, And in the birthday, yeah. you, you forget to bring a present. Oh, I forget to bring presents. I feel very, oh, I feel uh, so much pressure, a present. Frakenwort. 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 <laughs> there we have it. Now let's watch that back. Frakenwort. Frakenwort. There we that have it. so good. Very, very good. With several words incorporated into the German dictionary, it's easy to let the success go to the heads. But with a clear direction, the two manage to keep their feet firmly planted on the ground. I am the one that comes up with the feeling. I am very emotional. And Toto comes up with the words. <laughs> Toto's really amazing at coming up with new words. <laughs> Thank you, Gregor. You know, I wouldn't call myself a genius, you know. Since I am German, I would, I would probably say Wunderkind instead. Uh, but it means the same, yeah, genius. <laughs> but who actually uses the words that Toto and Gregor come up with? Of course, the only people that they use our words are really, really annoying people. So now after the Harry Potter series has kind of died out, it's become really hard to find such a big group of very, very annoying people. There is no doubt that Toto and Gregor love coming up with new words, but occasionally they run into problems because of their non-traditional word choices. It's a really special feeling when you are able to communicate with someone the exactly right word for what you are feeling. Yeah. It's is a good question, but I think that's vielleicht. How was the food? Uh, the food was... Um, um, the atmosphere, everything, it was very... Uh, Schlabenthausen. Schlabenthausen, yes. Uh, please, please tell the chef it was Schlabenthausen. Yeah. So, yes, thank you. Yeah. Uh, but I think um, As the day draws to a close, the German boys have a pleasant surprise in store. We've actually come up with a new word today. And it is a word that describes the feeling you get when you've spent your entire life trying to come up with new words but nobody wants to use your new words and you are in massive debt and now your, your wife is leaving you for the postman. And that word is uh, sad. Yes, very, very sad. <laughs> <laughs>